Well, hello there. Eric Griffith here with Griftastic Industries, and today we're going to focus on getting a file that you've been working on on your Windows laptop in EasyWrite 6 over to your BenQ board so that you can utilize it in class or continue to edit it. Your choice. It's up to you. All right. The thing is, though, I'm making a couple of assumptions, and I know, I know we shouldn't do that for reasons we both know. But I'm assuming that you have EasyWrite 6 already installed on your Windows laptop. If you do not, do a Google search for EasyWrite 6 for Windows and download the file and install it. Have your technology department help you out if it isn't already installed. It is going to allow you to create content on your Windows laptop anywhere you want, right? so that when you're ready to get it up to the board, you're ready to go. You don't have to stand at the board and use EasyWrite and create content. You can do it ahead of time so that it's ready to go there in class, all right? In addition, my other assumption is, for at least half of this video, I am assuming that you already have a BenQ account. If you don't, a BenQ account allows you to log into the board so that you have access to your files in Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, or any network attached drives, all right? If you don't have that yet, meaning your school hasn't helped you set that up, or you didn't click on that email and fill it out, that's okay. We have another route that you can take, okay? So I'm only half assuming, which is not any better than whole assuming. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is hop over, show you both my Windows laptop and my BenQ board. You can see that I have already signed in to my BenQ board for this example, but I'm going to sign out and show you how you can use it if you don't have the ability to sign in the board. All right. So jumping onto the laptop first, I'm going to show you I have EasyWrite 6 up and I'm just going to create a lesson. Okay. I'm just going to click and type something here and we'll call this the lesson. Okay, so now I have my lesson there and it's full of whatever I want, right? I can insert images, I can do a lot of different things in this that's gonna make it awesome. I've spent a lot of time working on it. I've inserted other images, video clips, audio clips, all of that goodness, and now I wanna get it over to my board. How do I do that? The way I would recommend is to utilize your Google Drive. Uh, at my school, we use Google Drive for online storage, but really any cloud storage that you utilize that the board supports, meaning Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or a network attached storage works the best for me because it's one thing that you won't lose, right? You just hit save to it and you know with confidence when you go to the board, as long as your board is connected to the Wi-Fi, that you can open that up and get to that uh, file that you need. All right. So what you want to do is click in the bottom right hand corner. And if we go up to this little icon right here, it's an arrow pointing out of a box right down here. If we click this, it gives us six different options. The ability to share via QR codes, uh, email, images, PDFs, IWBs, which stands for interactive whiteboard files. That means it's cross compatible between other interactive whiteboard solutions. All right. As well as easy, right? All right. So I actually want to save this to easy, right? It's going to pop up and ask me where I want to save it on my laptop. I have something called Google drive for desktop installed already. If you don't have that, that is a super cool solution that turns your Google Drive into essentially a thumb drive, right? So that when you plug it in, it looks like a thumb drive that you can drag and drop data to, and it automatically syncs it back up to the Google Drive. So no having to plug in thumb drives. Awesome. We're at that year in history now. It's almost 2023. And if you're watching this in the future, I'm sure thumb drives are something else. But now we have the ability to save this. So I'm going to call it the lesson. And I'm going to save this inside this folder under Google Drive. All right. So I'm going to hit save right here. And that'll just take a couple of seconds to save and open up inside Google Drive. I'm going to confuse you a little bit because I'm also going to save this to my thumb drive because that's the other way to do it. You don't have to do that every time. I'm just going to show you both ways. And while I'm standing here, I'm going to hit save on my thumb drive, right? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit file, save this file as an easy write file, just like that. And I'm going to change this over to my thumb drive and we'll call it the lesson two. 
right? Even though it's the same file. So then let me go ahead and hit save. That saves that right to the thumb drive. And I'm going to unsafely inject the thumb drive as you're not supposed to do. And then I'm going to walk over to the board and show you how to get started here. All right. So I have already logged into my board. And what I want to do to open this is click on this easy right drive file right there or link right there. Then I want to go down to the bottom and click here. And then I want to click this folder right here that says open. If I click open right here, I can then click this open button right here. And it gives me the ability inside of my Google Drive. If I go to drive and then I click on my easy write six files, I have the lesson saved right there. Might be a little difficult to see in the, the camera, but as soon as I tap that, it opens up the file, the lesson right there. So that's how you'll get on it and save and uh, interact with those files. You then, once you're done working on this, you can click this file button and you can click this again, and then you can save the easy write file that you've worked on. A lot of the teachers that have transitioned over from smart, they only use this one time, right? They use the file one time and then they don't ever save it. They just use it as a lesson. So if you want to save the file, you can save it back there. That's how that works. But if you don't have Google Drive set up and you don't have uh, the ability to save files onto the board via Google Drive because you don't have an account, I'm going to log out and show you what that looks like. Come on. There we go. If you are too close to the board and your back touches the board, uh, as that does for me, and I have to stand at the right spot in the camera, it always happens to me. I get too close to the board and I touch it and I cancel whatever I'm working on. All right, so that's why that happened. For me, now in this scenario, I don't have the ability to log in, which if I did, it would be right here in the center, but let's say you're me and you don't have the ability to log in. All you have to do is take your thumb drive, plug it into the very front of the board, just like that, and then click on Easy Write. Once you open up Easy Write, um, it's going to give you the same ability here. It's gonna pop up and say, hey, do you wanna open up a file? And then you're gonna open up a file here. And then right down here, it says, here's your USB file. If I click on this, there is that lesson right there. And when I click on it like that, it opens up the lesson again, all right? So very easy to go ahead and save a file either to a thumb drive or your cloud, uh, cloud storage solution in order to save and get those files over to the board. So if I have helped you out today, or if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. But more importantly, if I have helped you out today, please let me know by doing a thumbs up on this video or a subscribe would also be appreciated. And I hope that you have a griftastic day. Thanks.